Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of another Latrax alias clone, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I think Nihui, Nihui Toys? I don't know. Uh, this is the U807 drone. Uh, now, if you remember my review of this little guy, this is the U207 intruder, uh, which I kind of, you know, uh, you know, ranted a little bit about how I thought the name was kind of dumb. Well, this is their new one, and they've just called this one Drone, so not exactly the most creative with names. However, this quad is awesome. Uh, definitely the best Latrax alias clone that I've flown so far. It's still, you know, it's not an alias killer. The alias is still better, but this is definitely the best clone. Uh, really good looking. I do like how it's red, white, and blue, you know, especially being an American. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool look. Uh, yes, it does have the really bright, visible LEDs like all the alias clones have. And it does have a camera version. You can get it without the camera. And if you get the camera version, it's you know still very optional. It's really easy to just snap off and unplug, so you can you know change it right there on the on the fly if you want. Really, really easy to take on and off. Um, so you're not forced to use it. If you you know if you want to take it off, you can. Uh, let me get it back on there. Um, it also comes with. No, I got it on crooked. There we go. Uh, comes with a. 4 gigabyte micro SD card. Slide that in the back there. And the uh, lens is adjustable, so you can you know angle it down more if you want, or have it pointed straight forward. And I've got this one with the prop guards on, just because I think the prop guards look really cool on this one. Uh, they're very functional. I mean, they clear way up above the props, so you can you know you can touch the ceiling with these prop guards, and it. It gives so much clearance that you don't even like get that where like you know sometimes it wants to suction to the ceiling. There's enough clearance where that doesn't happen. Um, this is the transmitter, which is kind of funny. It looks like you know an old 80s throwback or something. Very old school RC look to it. Uh, but I'm not hating on it. I don't mind it at all, actually. Um, pre it's pretty nice and you know hobby grade style a little bit. It's got a handle on it. Um, you know, the grips kind of come out here, so you got something to hold on to in the back. You know, if you're a thumb flyer or a pincher, you nice uh, grip. And there's shoulder buttons up here on the top. Let's see, we've got uh, the right bumper is flips, but if you've got the camera on, then it operates the camera. You click it to take a picture or press and hold it to start videoing but you cannot flip if you've got the camera on. You've got to have the camera removed in order to do flips. Um, but for flips, you just hit the right bumper and move the right stick whichever way you want to flip. Um, left bumper is the yaw, or the, the rates, and you've got three different rates, and it only has one yaw rate, but it is a good yaw. It's not super fast, but definitely the fastest of all the clones and plenty fast to be sporty and do funnels and stuff like that. Uh, so that was really the most impressive part because all the alias clones so far have been a little bit slow on the yaw rate and this one is nice and fast. Um, it also says that it has a magnetic compass so it has the headless mode. Uh, we've got a 650 milliamp hour 1S LiPo. Uh, we've got a USB charger, spare set of props, a screwdriver, even have some little uh, gears which go on the motor there. A um, bunch of little screws. The prop guards attach with two screws on each prop guard. Um, so you've got, you know, even a couple of extra screws and I think, you know, probably screws for the props, the spare props. Uh, and then there's also a USB card reader in there. Uh, the battery takes about 45 minutes to charge. Uh, you get about nine minute flight times with no camera and no prop guard. So in its lightest form, the longest flight you'll see is about nine minutes. And you get about a 10 second LVC, so a little short on the LVC warning. Um, and the prop guards seem to take about 15 seconds off of the flight time. And the camera seems to take about 30 seconds off of the flight time. So in this heaviest form, you're probably eight, eight, eight to eight minutes and 15 second flights, somewhere around in there. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything else to say. Um, no, that looks like about it. Uh, so I think I'll, I'll go ahead and do a quick little indoor flight just to show it, you know, flying with the prop guards. Um, but then I'll take the prop guards off and we'll take it outside with the camera on. We'll do some more aggressive flying and do some onboard footage. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, <laughs> 